So we have Paragon Fitwear over here winning the best leggings of the year for 2023. Did you really think I wasn't gonna step into 2024 without introducing everything they have to offer? If you guys happen to catch that video at the end of the year, Paragon won most of the categories in that video. They won best legging of the year and I'm not kidding. I noticed after that video, you guys had a ton of questions regarding this brand. After that video, I'm getting questions like, what are the differences between the sculpt seams, the material, should I go for this one or that one? So that is why we are here. This is gonna be your go-to guide for everything Paragon has to offer. At this moment, of course. You never know what they're gonna come out with next. I do have my code GATA. That saves you 10% off of all your Paragon orders. Not to mention, it does help us do what we do here. So if you do use it, please let me know. As you can see, when you hop on their website, first things first, they're introducing their brand new drop. Paragon's Wild Collection's drop on the 9th. Now this is a bunch of animal prints. They still have you covered with a stable black like they always do, which I love that they always include at least one solid in every single launch. Now I try to review them at least once a month when they have their new drops. Last month I didn't get around to reviewing their Wavelength collection. This was in collaboration with one of their athletes, Des B. They did a great job on that collection. Definitely different from what you're used to. You're probably thinking, okay, rack stretch, sculpt scene plus like, been there, done that, fits differently. That's the one thing I will say about Paragon, which is why I continue these reviews, is sometimes the fit is different, which we're gonna go over briefly about the new Wild Collection as well. All right, guys, let's start it off by talking about the basics of what Paragon is all about. To my surprise, Paragon's been around for like 10 years. It's about time y'all pop off, for real. They are a US-based brand. Paragon's a pretty small company. They don't have a ton of people working for them, but I will say I work with them and they're very, very cool. They're chill. They're very hands-off. They just let you make the content you want, speak how you want to speak, and I just really love that. I have a rule and it's I do not work with brands who try to dictate my content or put a seal on what I can say. So any brand you see on this channel that I have a link or a code with that I'm just affiliated with in general, they are brands that allow me to speak my mind, keep everything true blue, and if they did not, I literally wouldn't be working with them. I've had brands where I was this close to signing on that dotted line until they said, okay, but you just can't say this, you can't say that, you can't say cheer. You wanna know what I do to that contract? at ripping paper. <laughs> Confetti, baby. <laughs> Deuces. Anyways, back to Paragon. Shout out Paragon. They never try to play me like that. So Paragon's mission statement is that they want to provide premium apparel that makes you confident. And that I think they do very well. I do feel very confident when wearing Paragon, which is why I wear them almost every day. And their quality is pretty amazing too. I know that I've had comments in the past where people would say their seams were a little messy. Sometimes they're not the cleanest looking seams. I'm not gonna lie. Have I ever had any of their stuff unravel on me? No, I have not. And I wear like the same black leggings from them every time I go out. So they're being washed a ton and I have no issues. No issues issues with quality whatsoever. But do comment down below if you happen to have a good or a bad experience in that department. This way it helps everyone else here on this channel. You're obviously here to learn a little bit more, so everybody else's experiences other than my own are still completely 100% valid, so I encourage you guys to check out the comments. They're carbon neutral, they use sustainable materials, and they inspect their factories regularly. Their sizing is very consistent. It usually ranges from an extra small to a 2XL. Their leggings typically run and anywhere from 59 to $63. Nothing too crazy affordable, definitely nothing over the top high end. Doesn't even hit 70 bucks, which is a lot of starting points for many brands. So they do okay in that department. I do see that they offer free shipping in the US, anything over $150. My question is, what about people from other countries? What are they looking at? So if you're somebody from Canada or anything like that and you tried purchasing or have purchased from them, let me know, what's the shipping like? What is all of that about? So they do once a month drops, they will come out with new colors, new patterns in one signature material. So for example, the new Wild Thing launched in their Reluna fabric with the OG sculpt seam. The Wavelength launched in their Rex Stretch with the sculpt seam plus. So you're either gonna get like a sculpt seam or sculpt seam plus, but we'll get into that in just a bit. The Reluna, AKA their naked legging. Feels like you're naked. This is lightweight, buttery soft, next to naked feel, super stretchy, their highest stretch. So to be honest with you, I said this in my video in December, their Reluna fabric 
with the OG sculpt seam is my favorite for wearing out and about. Love them because they feel like you're wearing nothing. Really, they literally are the most comfortable legging I've ever worn all day. I could wear them for days on end. Next up, Rec Stretch. This is for everyday performance. This is why I'd say it's good for the street or the gym. This is the material that won best legging of the year for me. Now, they do say high impact workouts. That really depends. <laughs> that depends. If I'm like jumping, jumping and doing some crazy stuff, you could wear it, but don't expect heavy compression. I know a lot of people can run and jump and do some crazy things, but they don't need a highly compressive legging. But then some do to do hit or something like that. This wouldn't be the legging for you. Most of their leggings are just low to mid support. Now, those are the two materials that are my favorite. And they happen to be, ironically enough, the two materials they work the most with. I notice it's usually either Baluna or it's Rec Stretch. They got other materials like the Ultra Lux. I don't believe I've ever tried that material. I've been working with them since around springtime and I don't think they've ever come out with Ultra Lux in any drop since then. Everything in the Ultra Lux sold out so I can't even try it for myself, but I'm assuming maybe this is just a material that is dwindling out. Maybe they'll come out with it in the future, but I personally have no experience with it. If you do, drop a comment with your thoughts. The Air Silk. Y'all remember this? I reviewed this a couple months ago. They just came out with this fabric. This is freaking, well, let me read it first. Lux Comfort Daily Wear Low Impact Workouts. I personally would not work out in it. I showed you guys that I saw the sweat come right through it. So if you're even a sweater like a little bit, you're gonna see it all. I didn't even feel my armpit sweating. I was just sitting here filming. You remember that? And I lifted my arm up and there was just, this is lightweight, true. Silky soft, next to naked, highest stretch. 100% true. This to me is, if you wanna wear a legging to bed, this would be it. If you're wearing it just out comfortably, say you're like, you know what? I wanna feel like I'm wearing sweatpants. That's how comfortable I wanna be, but I wanna wear leggings. You need the air silk right now. Flex sweat. I have some experience with this flex sweat. Not saying it's a bad material at all. It definitely works for some. Some prefer that more slippery feel. So this is personally my least favorite material out of the bunch that I've tried. The reason being is because there's a little bit of wrinkling. It has a slight, slight, plasticky feel compared to like their other materials that I'm obsessed with. It wasn't as glute enhancing, even with the sculpt seam involved. It just didn't look as flattering as the other materials do. This is just my personal opinion though. This is great for high impact workouts. Lightweight, quick dry, durable, comfortable stretch. That high impact workout thing, again, that depends on your preference, but very gym friendly. That material will wick your sweat right off your body, girl. Like, boom, bye. And the feather knit. Okay, we remember this in the fall time. They came out with a bunch of feather knit materials, very lightweight, very soft. Well, yeah, it's ultra lightweight, silky smooth, quick dry, comfortable stretch, high impact workouts. I'm sorry that I, no, I would not. But to be honest with you, I've only tried it, I believe one time in just one launch. Be happy to try some more, maybe some actual leggings or something in this material. I might feel differently, but from the one and only launch I've tried this material with, it was is okay. It's super comfy, but not necessarily something I want to actively work out in. So the feather knit and the flex sweat are probably my least favorite as of right now. Don't sleep on the air silk and most definitely do not sleep on the rec stretch and the reluna. Easily the two best materials in my opinion at the moment. They come out with a heck of a lot of that. So I must not be the only one that feels this way. So with these images, you're probably like, okay, sculpt scene, sculpt scene plus. What the heck is that? Well, let's talk about it. They are known for their sculpt seam, all right? Trademark, insert that. Basically the sculpt seam is an internal discrete scrunch, right where it separates the glutes. That is where you can find a small elastic strip that they use to enhance the glutes. They do a stellar job at this, which is why they're one of my favorite brands right now in general. They added on pretty much every single legging they come out with. It is not an extreme scrunch that you would see, say on Alphalete's Amplify. It's not intense, it's not in your face. You do not see it from the outside of your leggings. This is what it looks like from the back looks like a normal, typical seam, okay? You have the slight V seam. I mean, it all works for the glutes. It's subtle, but it's there, you know? It does a little something without being over the top obnoxious. Look at this, baby. This is the secret ingredient right here. Something so simple. I mean, it almost looks like a hair tie. Typically when brands make scrunch bombs, they take an elastic band, stretch it out, and then sew it onto the back. 
after it's sewn on, once they let it go, it just scrunches up, okay? So basically it's just bringing in all the material. Paragon, when creating their sculpt seam, they take a knitted band, this right here, this strip. They do not stretch it out. Instead, they sew it right on the flat locked seam that's behind it. So your normal glute seam, they sew it right on. This is why there's no ruching. Okay? This is why it looks so natural even when just holding it up without even putting it on. This is why it's super indetectable. In, it's undetectable. So this maintains its shape no matter what. Whereas your typical scrunch foam, it's always getting stretched out as you put it on. It's not like an accordion constantly going like this. This is not going anywhere. If you want a little more pop to the peach, introducing their Sculpt Seam Plus. This only came out, I would say around summertime of last year. Now, as you can see, look up close. You, you can definitely see that from behind, okay? You know there's some, something going on back there. Looks like you just like sucked on something sour. When actually putting these leggings on, it goes incognito. You wouldn't even notice that there's a scrunch back there. So when it comes to the scrunch, that glute department, they really did nail it. Now the thing with Paragon is they do not offer any legging on their website without some sort of glute enhancement, whether it's the OG sculpt seam or the sculpt seam plus. So do keep that in mind. If you're not a fan of any glute enhancement, then you might not, you might not vibe with Paragon altogether. And that's okay. I also have to make mention, they're the kind of brand, they don't have seamless. They don't do seamless activewear. Everything is seamed. They're definitely a particular style brand. Just so happens to be my particular style, but I'm not saying it's going to work for everybody. Now, I don't believe this color is available anymore. They do sell out pretty fairly quickly. This dusty rose color was a big hit. I believe this came out in the fall time. I wore this in one of my Instagram reels. I was working out in it, and a lot of people actually thought this was Honor Active. <laughs> I don't know why, but everyone was like, what Honor Active legging is that? And I was like, nah, nah, girl, this is Paragon. Because I know I'm gonna get questions. Here's a brief rundown of the new Wild collection. Here's the color palette, okay? so a lot of neutrals. The snow leopard is absolutely my favorite. It's the lightest one of the bunch. Go fig. So all the same print, just different shades. Now they're going to have two waistbands, your normal waistband or the crossover. I specifically picked the crossover because I feel like it helps my short torso just look a little bit better. <laughs> like it helps snatch my waist a little bit. The one thing I'm going to say about this drop, you can size down in the leggings. I felt it right away. I was like, whoa, there's a lot of extra room in these babies. Specifically with the cross waistband, I didn't get any normal waistbands. I'm just going based off this cross waistband. I'm assuming they're pretty much the same though. They're all pretty much gonna fit the same way. I feel like they might have made the sizes a little bit bigger. This is my theory to prevent any fabric fading. Cause we all know that when it comes to animal prints or prints in general that are really heavy prints, they're subject to insane fade. Like when you squat, that print just goes bye-bye. They do not do that with these. Now, if I were to size down, which I do feel like I absolutely could in these, will they fade? I don't know because I didn't grab an extra small. My bad. So if you're in between, right out of the gate, I suggest sizing down automatically. If I could do it all over again, I'd probably size down. Now, I have to mention that because this is the Roluna fabric. This is that soft fabric I love so much. The Roluna fabric during the summertime that launched, they actually launched a bunch of dark colors and a heavy marl. Those fit snug on me. This is what I'm saying about their sizing. It can get a little wonky, so you have to pay attention to my reviews. So like I said before, if you're looking for an out and about legging, I highly suggest the Reluna. This is so soft, so stretchy, and it's just comfortable for all day wear. Crazy enough, even in this light, light snow leopard color, these are freaking squat proof. They're always so good, especially in the Reluna fabric, at being squat proof. Paragon's one of the only brands, one of the only brands where I never have to worry about sheerness. The Reluna fabric, I don't work out in because it's a little too brushed. This is my everyday legging. Just yesterday, I was craving Wendy's, okay? Sue me, I wanted their chili with cheese and onion and sour cream, two packets of sour cream. And I, uh, I was wearing the black leggings, okay? I was wearing their black Reluna leggings, staple black, can't go wrong with that. Now, oddly enough, they do charge different prices based off of the waistband. Yeah, so the crossover is 62, and the regular waistband's 59. The bras are pretty true to size. In between, you gotta size on up. Ironically enough, the leggings are down, the bras up. I feel like the bras they came out with with the Wild Collection, they're a little small. I would be remiss if I did not touch base on the Wavelength Collection. Again, wait, this is not Wavelength, hold on. <laughs> Your air silk, what are you doing in there? <laughs> okay. 
Okay. The Wavelength dropped last month. Didn't get around to reviewing it, but this was in collaboration with one of their athletes, Des B. They nailed it. Girl, Des B, you nailed this collection. I love it. Not only because they slayed with the color palette, but they also really did a nice job with the print, this groovy print. They also have solids, so if you don't like that groovy print, they got you covered there too. This sticker came with it. Keep showing up. This is fun. This collection was really fun. Also, honestly, had a blast doing reels and photo shoots in these because the color was just screaming off the camera, like at you. I'm actually wearing the pink bra right now. Look at this orange color. Are you joking? So groovy. Creamsicle all the way. This is speaking to my 60s soul. I have a 70s soul, an 80s soul, and definitely a 90s soul. So I'm a little bit all over the place, but this is my 60s soul right here. Now there's two different types of waistbands in this collection. This one, as you can see, has a little more seam movement in the front. And then for example, right here, a little more subtle. I prefer the more subtle. They fit about the same, but I wanna make mention that this launch in particular is the most compressive in the waistband I've ever had from Paragon, period. Down the line, everything Paragon has to offer, when I put these on, I was surprised at how much compression was in this waistband. So that's why I wanted to mention it in today's video, in case you're still somebody who's curious about this launch, even though it dropped last month, I have to let it be known that the compression in the waistband was unexpected for me. And if you're somebody who loves Paragon and wears them and buys them regularly, it will surprise you too. I still loved it though. The fact that they didn't add a band underneath this bra that would just sandwich you in really made this legging so doable. Then I didn't mind a little more compression in the waistband because it's not like I was getting sandwiched in here and here, which would create that unwanted bulge. I'm gonna call this the bunk bed bulge, okay? When you get a bulge up here from your bra and then a bulge down here from your waistband, it's a bunk bed bulge. So yeah, keep that in mind when buying these ones. So if you're in between, I would say size up. I know I would if I was in between because I wouldn't want it any tighter around the waist. This wavelength collection is completely opposite of the wild collection where that was Reluna with the OG sculpt seam. This is their rec stretch with the sculpt seam plus. Better glute enhancement, better for the gym. This material is my favorite to work out in in the gym. Still hugs you in all the right places. Super squat proof and great to sweat in. I wouldn't want to sweat in the Reluna. Rec stretch, to me, I feel like I could wear it in or out of the gym. This legging is going to remain cool to the touch. This legging has more of a slippery feel to it, but it does not slide. It's not one of those plasticky leggings. This is the quintessential gym material and I'm here for it. I think there's still a good amount of stock left here, so if you wanna check it out, definitely do. I have to say, the sports bra I gotta make mention because it stands out to me as being one of my favorites from them so far. The cage design on the back, the adjustable straps, I mean, the sexy cleavage, the low profile, it has everything I love in a sports bra. Just be mindful, it comes pretty low. If it came any lower, I think my nip would definitely be slipping out on y'all. All right guys, so that was the rundown of Paragon. As a brand, what materials they offer, their styles they offer as well. They've easily become one of my favorite brands at the moment. And that is saying something since we talk a lot of brands on this channel. In terms of value, I do believe that you're getting a wide range of usability. I think for the price point, it's very fair. I think the quality is awesome. I think that their drops are always fun and exciting. Paragon really is a relatively simple brand. It's like the solar system. The sculpt seam is the sun. All the different materials, are the planets just revolving around the sun. Wait, do the planets revolve or the sun revolves? The planets revolve. Okay. Don't add that into the video, bitch, if you do, I swear to God. Make me look dumb as fuck. Like I said before, they have a very specific style they go for. This may not work for everybody. They sure as heck work for me. <laughs> and if you watch this channel, chances are we have a lot of similar interests, which is why I really love to just bring Paragon to the forefront and, and share this brand with as many people as possible because I am determined in the year of 2024 to no longer make them an underrated brand. I've been saying that since I started wearing them. Like, whoa, where have you been? Why are you always getting swept under the carpet? Because you need to come out from there and you need to just be shown to the world right now. I know a lot of gals who watch my videos. You're like, oh wow, I never thought about Paragon like that or I never heard of them. They try it and they love it and that makes me so happy. That makes me so genuinely happy. If you're looking for very comfortable, booty shaping leggings that aren't over the top in your face, versatility on point, then definitely check this brand out. By the way, this video is not sponsored. Just wanna let you guys know that. They're not paying me to promote them. They're not paying me to make this video, speak about them. I just genuinely love this brand and I'm really excited to talk about them and to share them with you. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I can't wait for you guys to see the videos that are to come. I know you guys are like hitting me up so much about Honor Active. I'm gonna try to do a haul. Their stuff's always just sold out. So I'm like, what can I actually grab? <laughs> 
As always, thank you guys so much for being here. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. I love you guys so much. I'll catch you in my next video. Just waiting for you